what's good guys it's ovisk here and i'm back and i'm making another devlog and i know i abandoned the capybara tower defense but i'm actually back and i've learned a lot since i've done that game uh at the time i did not know what i was doing obviously and i'll explain later on in the video but now i'm back and i am working on a new game it's gonna be a pawn shop game and it's already done basically with the back end of the scripting for the items for the npcs for the uh, buying and negotiations and selling items so it's basically done in that sector and it's mostly down to design i should i should have made videos during the development of the scripting in the background but i feel like that would have been less entertaining than the actual uh like design and modeling because that's what people see rather than just a bunch of text on the screen uh but at least you could get to see the functionality with the designs when i get that done and uh, yeah hopefully you enjoy the video all right so this is what i've been working on as you can see this is like a pawn shop uh basically it's nothing that's going to be in the final design of the actual shops but the whole main idea of this game is like the show Pawn Stars. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Pawn, Pawn Stars is what I'm trying to go for. I'd offer you a thousand bucks. I don't know what you're smoking, man, but that's not going to work. So I'm going to take my stuff and leave. All right. Have a nice day. Basically, you own a pawn shop. You build it up. You add more shelving units. You, you know, just decorations, expand your shop and uh, negotiate, buy and sell with customers so that's basically the whole goal of this game and you can see right here that i've actually done a lot uh, in the back end not in the front end as you can see like this is just a mock-up design so i can work with what i what i scripted and from my last devlog uh, where i was doing the capybara uh, tower defense you know it's not a big surprise that i abandoned that game because at the time around one year ago i was actually just you know terrible at scripting i i did not know what i was doing at all uh all i did was the modeling in the front end most of the time and then when i when it came to the game scripting all i did was watch a youtube uh video and completely use the scripting he did without knowing what it did so that's what i did but ever since then you can see right now like i release programs for roblox i have a trading bot i have a sniping bot i have uh, a couple of bots that you guys don't know about because i keep them private uh i'm building a game because you know i i am going to college and i'm gonna do some game programming and stuff like that but here we can see the gui is obviously you know this is like a terrible gui it's nothing uh, that you should take into consideration that this is going to be the final gui but if we just turn this off because this is not supposed to be on and this is supposed to be on yeah th this also is not going to be uh, the final design this is all just mock-ups to make it work we go in the game we can see i already have the data store for the items I, these are just items that are not final these are not like items that you'll be uh, like seeing in the game when i release it I'm probably going to hire someone to model out maybe a hundred different items uh, and I'll show you how these items work and here you can see you can call a seller in you can call a buyer in, or you can leave the shop so if you leave shop you can go out again so he picked up a, a newspaper you can see here this is just you know mock-up it's not the final design he picked up newspaper uh, which I own because he's buying for me he's a buyer the rarity is uh, strange. The year is 1918 and he's and the condition is fair and he's offering about $15. So from this $15, obviously you can negotiate. Now, this is all not final. I'm probably going to make it show the character's trait, but by what I mean is I give every NPC a trait and this trait is their basically their negotiation uh, like ability like how much are they willing to go up in price down in price and etc so the trait here is it's confident which is what will probably be shown to the user but in confident that means he can go up only 16 percent up of the price so if i bring this up and we go 16 dollars that is under 16 percent so we can do that but if we go 17 we can do that and if we go 18 he leaves because he doesn't want to do that 
I'm gonna add dialogue so uh, you can conversate with the actual customer or seller so like it, you can go back and forth on actual like negotiation that looks like a real interaction and you can see I can call another buyer this time it chose me this is just like there's like three NPCs in the storage that I'm using here but I'll probably add like not actual players uh like myself and stuff i'm probably just gonna add like you know suited men or this and this and just people that would come in and buy and leave so here we can see character trait and you can see this guy is selfish so he's only going up three percent so whatever i negotiate with him here is is you know it's not gonna do anything i'm he's just gonna leave so let's say i sell the item I get 12 bucks so now I have 14 bucks and I can leave my shop to whatever I want so that's basically the main basis of the game uh, I do want to add things like a uh, there is already a, a system where I created where you can go here and you'll see item positions. so there's a small position which is for small items will show up here for medium items there could be like a podium here and then for big items they'll be in a garage where uh, it will show off the camera angles over there and now i'm not sure if it actually played the camera angles during the interactions let me just see yeah it like this basically it's gonna do this but i'm gonna make it so you can like hold right click or if you're on mobile or whatever you can like pan around the thing so basically your the camera is not on you anymore it's on the item as if you're the item and like how you have your normal player you just look around your player you're going to be looking around the item zooming in zooming out and i will add also like uh conditioning to the item so if it's rusted down you can see that and etc which is already actually basically a thing if i go to my uh module scripts here where it generates the item you can see the condition price affection so basically if it's a poor item you can see the price affection will be down to 35% to 44% of the actual item uh, price if it was a flawless 100% of its value and then here you can see this is just like random generate a random condition generate a first price when the uh, customer comes up to you generate a rarity you can see this is the rarity there's a 50% common uh, there's a 50% chance on getting a common 25% chance on getting a rare and unique 15% and a strange 10%. Now these are rarities that I have stored uh in my in my replicated storage items. Here you go. You can see there's different years. So basically if you go here, we can see years and here you can see the year start. This is just a value to show the like where the year starts and ends. This is goes up to 1990. I know it doesn't go up to 1999, but I'll probably change that. Here we go to small we can see common rare strange unique and then you can see like in unique there's a cash register and the price starts from 117 dollars to 139 dollars and this is just a random generation of the price and then it like all the stuff about the item factors down to it if you go to like strange these are like where you can't really figure out the item like you don't know what's actual the, the item's actual price like a newspaper uh, i had that newspaper from 1918 you know that's for example that's when the world war uh, ended and you know that could have been like a useful piece of uh newspaper or history and to some people that would be worth a lot and you can see it starts from eight dollars so who knows what it could be all the way to 55 dollars just like just as that's how it goes so you know Mir miracle tonic 11 dollars to 93 dollars i should probably do something about that newspaper pricing but this is just all like you know it's not final this is i've been developing this game for like probably like two and a half weeks three weeks and not every day obviously because i would get a lot more done but you can see i have a lot of stuff already done uh, if I go to the main, all right, here you go. It's the main script. This is where it handles everything, where it calls the seller in, where it calls the buyer in. And if I show you the data store, you can see player data here. It, like uses the module scripts that I have. Load money, load the plot in, load the items in, and just like store the player information, uh, character, so we can get the store later on.
yeah this is basically what i've been working on uh if i go back in just to show you more about the item so let's say we call a byron or actually we don't even have to do that because we can just see in the saves folder item saves in the small section this is like a shelving unit uh, that's just a part to look at so basically the parts will look at that part to like nicely show as you can see uh, that shouldn't be like that that orientation but i'll fix that later placements so these are the uh, the placement units or parts where they would go on to and parent to them and you can see like this is bread this is the bottle case or uh, drinks if you go into info you can see a lot of useful information here so we have the condition which is great the float which is 0 0.8 uh in csgo that's obviously it's supposed to be backwards where the float is like 0 0.01 to make it better but this is like better float uh in my game and then we can see the rarity is rare size is small and the year is 1962. now uh, I know this can be like a risk from exploiters, but I can't really do much about it except for like store it into uh, I don't know the data store and have an item ID for each Item, but that's just gonna fill up the data store and it's also a little bit more of a hassle to me So uh, I think I'll be working like this instead for a bit and then I actually have uh, some UI that I've been uh not working on i bought a ui asset pack uh so yeah i've been working on a ui asset pack that i bought uh changing around some stuff and working on the theme for the game so it has a consistent theme for the ui uh but yeah that's basically devlog number one i'm not gonna show the ui until the next devlog because this video is getting too long and it's extending way past what i wanted to make where it would be like around five to ten minutes but yeah it's uh you know it's a great time to you know work on this game because i'm actually going into college like i said earlier and let me know if you have any suggestions down below this is a list right now that i'm going to show of what i plan to add what do i plan to modify and what i want to go for for this game and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next vlog hopefully